Hello, my great and wonderful people. We welcome you once again to our today's episode of this program. And today we get a lot of videos for our table. We want to one quickly the review to Una concerning the things we want to say if they happen right now for inside this country, Nigeria. Truly, a lot don't happen. When a busy will they review right now, one after the other. I beg, get yourself prepared because a lot they honestly. Now, before we go ahead to the review of these uh, videos to you, one after the other, I beg, help us to like this video. You know why? Now, the only way when it be say YouTube or Facebook will fit help us publish this video. The more like this video gets, the more that they recommend them to people. Thank you so much for your understanding. All right. If you all will still remember, last week we bring you a video how IBC, the leader of CUPP, when IBC in name na Imo Ugo Chinyere, the commander to expose this APC government in conjunction with INEC and also this uh, Supreme Court governor of Imo State, when in name na Hope Uzodima, how the team put their hands together to temper with this PVC registration machine, where it enable them to register names of uh, foreigners, collect names all over the world to register for PVC, they wait for 2023 general election. Maybe a lot of us never really understand the seriousness of that act and the damage is only BC that thing will do concerning the 2023 general election. Now, a lot of people don't also the common side they show interest and also they prove that evidence by the CUPP leader rights. Now, we'll leave you and make you watch this video when we we'll receive from this very man before we'll also bring you back again to that same video when we we'll say the leader of CUPP, they bring the record, the names, and the tone printing of those people as well. Watch this one first. We'll come back. For the conclusion, Senator Hope Uzodema boasted on TV that APC has done very well enough to win all the 36 states in the country. So we became concerned and we decided to investigate what is giving him confidence. And that is how we went into to check the records of what is going on in uh, PVC registration in his ward, Omoma. And in Omoma, he suddenly increased the number of registered voters from about 9,000 to now 40, about over 40,000. In fact, the total number of votes beefed into the records is about 36,000 plus. If you may recall, if you go to INEC Voters Register for 2019 election, Oru East, which is the local government of Senator Ozodema, had a total number of 86. 83,600 registered voters. 83,600 registered voters. Then all of a sudden, his ward alone, his ward, or Moma ward, which is actual, actually a rural part of Uru East, has 46,000 voters registered. And then we started seeing names like Adesoya Nash, who was born in the year 1900. 1900 as a registered voter in Central School or MoMA Ward 2, in Central School or MoMA 2. And then we have several other people who were born in 1901, 1903, and things like that. We saw that passport photographs that had nothing to do with INET registration were introduced in the register. Now, but that is not enough. We had to go dig deeper to find out what is really the plan. And we went to Federal High Court to Were, where we found out that they have already arranged one Mr. Wankwere Moral Chiwendo to bring an action in December, August, late August 2022, that's last month, to bring an action against the Independent National Electoral Commission. And if I may read out what uh, two things only, they are asking for a declaration that it is illegal and unlawful for INEC to electronically transmit, feed, or collate the results of the election of the 2023 general elections. They are also asking for an order of court 
an order of injunction restraining INEC, whether by themselves, their staff, officers, previous, or whomsoever described, from using or deploying the bimodal voter accreditation system or any other similar device equipment. So you could see that the link is heavy. He boasted that they will they have done so well to win the 36 states. They moved in to part of the voters register in Omoma Ward, his own ward, and then they brought an action before the Federal High Court trying to stop the use of beavers and uh, uh, transmitting elections, uh, election results, uh, transmitting the results of the elections electronically. If you look at it, it is the kind of scenario we are used to seeing in Nigeria. If you take this suit that has been brought before the Federal High Court to worry for granted, and that is it, the next thing you will notice is that a day or two, considering that they have shown uh, proficiency in compromising the judiciary, a day or two to the election, you will hear that a court sitting in Oweri has granted, uh, the, uh, has given judgment to the effect that INEC cannot use uh, beavers and cannot electronically transmit the results of the election. Before you know it, everybody's running helter-skelter. The election will hold. They'll enter everything manually, and then they'll read the election. So we are saying that Nigerians just have to wake up to the fact that so much is going to happen between now and the election. You have to go back to the register to check all this. But a lot of work is already in the hands of INEC. How come it is how how come it is in the electoral ward of Senator Hope Zadema that we are finding this kind of mess? How come it is in the Federal High Court in a worry that they are trying to stop the use of beavers and stopping the use of electronic transmission of results? All right, my great and wonderful people, we just decided to leave you to watch this video so that you will understand the in-depth of the waiting APC they try to use a uh, hope Uzo Dima they do for Imo states. Well, now, if you understand the reason why he said these people intentionally plant hope Uzo Dima for Imo states. And now we'll leave you to refresh your memory concerning the full registration uh, paper when he said the leader of CUPP, Harry Komasa, to show to the world how far this could not go concerning this issue when it is able to talk about right now. What a name about like Gossi go a man's picture and female gender. If you go also to a moment primary school, pulling in 01, you will see a name like Grifty Adam, a man with a female picture. If you go to pulling in 01, same a moment, you see a name like Hans Bira, a woman's picture and a male gender. Then you continue also, in the, you go to Umuhu Primary School 001, you see a man's picture, female gender, a name called Lanley Allen. We are talking of Umuhu, where you have names like Nkechi Adak. Then you go to uh, uh, the same Umuhu Primary School, you go to you see a name Luna Elomo, a woman's picture and male gender. You see another name, Makati Yoso, Japanese name, you see a, 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 a female picture and a man's uh, gender. This is how all of them is. So I will not. I will give the copies to all of you, and we'll share to Nigerians also. Now, when we went through the register, we discovered thousands of these foreigners in the register. We named such as Grifty Adam, Hinsbray, Flood Gary, Ford Scott, Ghana Stella, Hood Killer, Harren Drake, Grutti Silas, Lenny Allen, Luna Amo, Lower Rizafana, Makati Yusio, Muru Amba, Morono Lee, Maurice Dakwam, Navarro Dakwam. Tyson Kata, they are all in their thousands in Hope of the Mass Village, Omoma Ward, in Imo State. We are using Omoma and Imo as a test case of what has been done to over 18 states in the country. It is, however, very instructive that it will be discovered from the data in the register that we shall make available to you that all these fake registrants, both old and young, as can be seen from their photos, all have the same date of birth, 1983, including the grandmothers there. Nigerians will also see new registrants, which are when you go to page four of this, you will see people that were born in 1900, 1902, 1912, 1913, 
1931, all in Hopus of the Mass Village registered among this new registration. Which are names we believe we are from a death register in New Zealand. Names like Abraham, Jack, Dave also appeared against female photos. Further, faces that are... All right, my great and wonderful people, I believe say, Una don't see everything but Una safe. So the reason why basically they bring this video again and again for us Nigerians to understand how far this people don't go. If we not quickly swing into action and these people they will practicalize with it, they don't already start. And at the end, all of us will cry up and down. Nothing when the basic will feel do. If we must do something, we must do it now. If we must intend to change anything, we must start on now. So I beg you, share this video, like this video, so that YouTube will still recommend this video to every Nigerian until it reach the hand of people when they say they will feel take this matter up with the authority, most especially this APC regime. The day on ground. Now the reason why ABC said that the things say they're not they shake for anything because they know what they don't already put their hand. To make sure see the gain waiting they want. This man for Lagos State, I'm a bulletin able to say for him not to become the next Nigeria president, he will rule. I believe say, this one still are to be all confident for the things when they say they make him, they believe say nobody will feel overpowering or even beaten during this 2023 general election. If they don't already set all these things in place, tell me where your votes and the votes of your people will count. For that candidate when they say you know, say it's supposed to sit down for there. So now there is why basically with the beg each and every one of you. I beg share this broadcast so that it will feel reach the hand of those people when they say they will feel do something about this issue. Thank God, see all these evidences. They come outside on time now. You understand? So I believe if we start on now, definitely we'll we stop these people. May they not carry out this their evil plan. All right. Now here we'll draw the line here. Before we say a final goodbye, I beg want you this medium to appreciate each and every one of you. Really, you people did very, very wonderful. For your good work, when you see the help us, they do for here. They want to be the help us, they share this broadcast, your likes, your comments. All of them, we appreciate them. I bet make you not forget to help us do justice to this one as well. Help us share and so that if we still reach our brothers and sisters all over the world because we believe we want to say information, not power. And as we do so, God Almighty will bless you. We would like to draw the conclusion of this program here. We will see you again when we see you. Remember, we love you all. Bye-bye.